guy was writing about, he worked at this store. It was on Tumblr that I read this. He worked at this store that had um, creepy animatronic Santas oh, no. for sale. Okay. And they sold out of the white ones and all they had left were black ones. <laughs> Which is cool that they had both both colors. Yeah. You know, but they sold out of all the white ones and only had like two or three black ones left. And this woman comes in and starts raging at them that they don't have any white Santas because Santa is white by God. Like, he was a real person that existed and had, you know, like... Wait, Santa isn't real? <laughs> I bet you think reindeer are real too. Actually, yeah. That was an Azamungadayo joke. <laughs> joke. I know reindeer are real. <laughs> this idiot still believes in Santa. I bet they believe in reindeer, too. <laughs> but yeah, she just started raging because they didn't have any white Santas left. And she was like, Santa is white and Jesus is white. <laughs> and how the black Santa was not the correct Santa. <laughs> Like, <laughs> this is one hell of a let's play brought to you by session we're doing. Yeah. That I've saved it. I told the young scholar to keep the secret to the heart of himself. Not only have you the power to inflict pain, you also have the power to plant seeds of doubt in one's receptive heart. I hate Zemnes. So like, he's not even Disney evil, he's just annoying. <laughs> like, he just needs to just. Get a swift kick in the ass. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I, he just. Xehanort is so much more evil than him. He's just a whiny bitch. Yeah. He will pave the way for the he's, he's got he's, his heart is struggling with Xehanort and Terra inside of him. So. He just. I think so. I think. The crystal squid. He just... Oh, he's such a bitch. <laughs> Xehanort's fucking... Uh, just a bitch. He's just a bitch. He's just a punk little bitch. And Syx is a punch little, punk, punk little bitch. Well, who, who'd you say was evil? Like, actually evil. Xehanort. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I thought you said Xemnas. I'm sorry. No, Xehanort. Well, Xehanort's a punk little bitch, too. But Yeah, but at least he's He's evil. evil. Yeah. And he's voiced by Leonard Nimoy, so. You know, we can kick his ass, I have it. We gotta get our, we gotta, I think next we should play that. Um, Continue the Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. We should do that, and we can go back and play one. Mm, at some point, yeah. Because I've got one, and I've got Chain of Memories. So we've got four games we need to play. Yeah. And then, and then of course, we need to watch all the other things as well, yeah, like we did and with 2.8 is 8. coming out this year. So we can play through Dream Drop. Not Dream Drop. Yeah, we can play through Dream Drop. Oh, cool. Yeah, on here. And um, Key is going to be a movie on there. Oh. It's a cell phone game. It's going to be a movie. Interesting. Yeah. Don't be so mopey, Sora. Oh, there's a thing happening. Basically the plot of Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I swear to God, I've got this picture somewhere. I mean, we could do that, but okay. Yeah, because that's where we gotta go next. Uh, how much time are we at right now? Can you read that? Thirty-five. Let's go. A 
What kind of pizza, pizza did you get? I got, thanks for reminding me. I got um, ham and mushroom and bell pepper, or banana pepper. Good. Yeah. Moo. It's a goo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we gotta go to Merlin's. Yeah. Why did it set you all the way back here? Like, you know, like it could have put you at Merlin's house. He has a safe point in his house. Yeah. Although I think that would be a little bit of an invasion of privacy. You just teleport into his house. What yeah. if he's having like Master Fappin time? <laughs> Yeah. You can buy it from Wedge. Wedge his arm. Yeah, Biggs is around here too. Wow. Good job, Square. But no, I made the. Uh, the yeah. You can sense it or you can buy it. Yeah, and I sensed it, but it doesn't show it in my stock. Oh, maybe you made something else. Maybe. Sense. Uh, oh, yeah, the Agus chain. Or the Abbas chain? Abbas, yeah. Abbas. Hmm. We'll worry about that in a minute. Yeah, you just got... Oh, you got uh, some stuff. Oh, those are pretty good. I'll get those, too. Lord yeah, the Lord's Broom. Keeper enhances magic and increases the duration of drive form. We'll just throw that right on our main slot. I don't even care that it's worse than um, in strength than the follow the wind. And yeah, Oathkeeper draw. is the best. Like if yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> she selects the mayor, dress like a mayor, and have very nice things. But don't be confused. This is the mayor. <laughs> it shows uh, <laughs> the villager as the mayor. It's it's Welcome uh, to Japan. Welcome to Japan. It's a great YouTube video. And then it shows Isabel, but don't Don't she, be confused. This, this is, is the, the real, real mayor. mayor. <laughs> Oathkeeper. It's great. Victory Bell. Alright. The broom. You goofy. Have a better weapon. Very cool. Stop. I swear. Oh, I made a Thundaga trinklet, so I oh, made a better one. Okay. No wonder. I'm gonna have to buy at least one of each thing in this game. Whoa, wait, hold on. Did I just see Zantetsu again? Zantetsu counter. Yeah. That's. Huh. Yeah, you get some really cool limits. Yeah, there's Zantetsu again. Instantly eliminate me. I know it is not walking around with Odin's power here, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how do we level up? Uh, number you level of forms up, obtained. You level up limit form by completing a limit chain. Each limit chain completed that hits an enemy, I believe, levels levels up an experience point. So like with um. Valor form is every hit you land. So, With magic form is every heartless you kill. With um, limit form is every combo I complete. Yeah, every limit okay. combo you complete, and you can and it eats up your drive gauge, so you can only do like one or two per limit. Oh wow! Yeah, or per, per time you transform. So Jeez. yeah, but it gets stronger each time, you know. Yeah. I swear to God, it's not been this long since I've re-logged it. 
What have you got in here? Eh, just potions, tents, and ethers. Yeah, he kind of sucks. There's Cloud being like an asshole. This shop is actually a giant refrigerator. <laughs> Thanks, Scrooge. When you win the games just right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's when he gets up on the Hydra's back just right. Yeah. Hey, Cloud. Oh, you and your Advent yeah. Children outfit. What is Cloud doing? I don't know, Leon probably. <laughs> Such a whiny baby. Come on, sir, you kicked his ass in the first yeah, game. Yeah, well, he kicked our ass in the first game. Well, okay. Sure. If somebody can beat Sephiroth in the first game, they're just wrong. Hmm? Like, if they play that game too much, you should not challenge Lance Bass. <laughs> Is something wrong? Hey, Aerith. Uh, so, I was reading a theory that when Sephiroth stabs Aerith, he doesn't actually kill her. Oh, yeah, I, I saw it, like, that. It, paralyzes her. Mm -hmm. uh, have y'all... Well, I, if y'all haven't heard of it... Um, Spoiler alert! Aerith dies! This game's, like, 30 years old. <laughs> but, um... Aerith gets stabbed by Sephiroth, as you know, through the lower spine, kind of through her hip area. Mm -hmm. And the theory is that it just paralyzes her, and that's why she slumps. And then she passes out from the pain because you know that's got to be fucking painful mm -hmm. and it's actually cloud that kills her because alive bodies sink and dead, dead bodies, bodies don't float. sink yeah dead bodies float so he actually drowns her in the waist deep water that he drops her and she falls for eternity yeah that was a game theory video i saw yeah what are you doing? He chews on that. That's just what he does. I'd rather him chew on that than plastic, so. True. It's just, he plays with it. Yeah, know. Dumbo. When I die, make sure my corpse has winged eyeliner, it says on a picture of Axel. <laughs> I swear to God. What are you even looking for? I'm looking for the, I wish we had a key. Oh. That's what I'm looking for. I feel like it hasn't been that long since I've reblogged it, but I guess it has been. I don't know. I'll find it later. I'm hungry. I like how Trickster Goofy over there throws it under his leg. <laughs> 20 points. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, cool, all right. Cool, cool, all right. Not, 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 not my real shield. <laughs> hey, fellas, you're just in time. Got some good news for you. So get yourselves over to Leon's. Wait, where's Leon's? We found the computer Ansem was using. Oh boy. Yep, should be able to get all kinds of information on the Heartless and the organization. And maybe something on the Dark Realm too. It looks like that's where Riku and Kairi are. And the King. Go see for yourselves. I love that Sid's redneck ass is actually a really smart rocket scientist. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, Somebody made these um, Final Fantasy inspired blends of tea, mm -hmm. and his was goddamn tea. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, the description was, it's just Earl Grey. Now sit down and drink your goddamn tea. <laughs> For those of you who 
haven't played seven. What are you doing with your life, first off? Second off, seven's not the best. It's really good, but it's not... I don't have the raging boner that everybody else has for it. Six it's is good, better. though. Six is much better. Nine is really good, too. But anyway, so Sid is actually, despite his redneck and gruff appearance, he's actually a rocket scientist and um, was hired by Shinra to build a rocket ship to go to space in. And at the very last minute, he had to cancel it because his assistant was going to die and he, he wanted to save her life. And then he just kind of fell into despair. Because he loved her and shit. Yeah, he fell into despair and became an alcoholic. And then Cloud kicked his ass and now they're friends and now he's a rocket scientist again. No, don't fall. Fuck. <laughs> Good job. You blew it. You whacked her over the head with a keyblade. <laughs> I loved her, man. You blew it. <laughs> I like those little book guys. This is the way I'm supposed to go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thanks, Dublin. You know what joke we haven't used in a while? What? <laughs> Scared the cats. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, baby. That is that's one we, we left by the wayside, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Man. Nothing's thank been you that for funny. reminding me. Yeah, nothing's been that funny though. I mean, I've been laughing like an idiot recently, haven't you heard me? Oh yeah. Mm. Next chance we get, we're we're definitely gonna throw down some ah ha ha. I've got ten some Titus to laugh. It. I've got the um, remaster. I got the original too. Yeah. <laughs>